free apps. We love them and of course we have them. Oh yeah, but nothing really is free, right? Even those medical be healthy, eat right kind of apps, they make money off of you mm, and me. They use your contact information, data you track on the app. Basically, they sell you. Well, we teamed up with Consumer Reports to take a closer look at how they do it and what you can actually do about it. Maureen uses numerous health apps to keep track of her family's medical profiles. I put everything from, from blood work to immunization records to medications to eyeglasses to checkups. I've become really dependent on it. As a tech blogger, she makes sure that the medical data is stored only on her phone, not a remote server. For certain medical apps, I make sure that it's not being backed up somewhere else. But that takes work. Consumer Reports says it's a good idea to ask the following questions. Is the app asking for permission to access your contacts or photos? Do the terms of service allow it to share data with third parties? If the answer to those questions is yes, we recommend taking a good hard look before deciding whether to hand over your data or not. We're concerned that if your personal data gets out there, it could ultimately lead to workplace discrimination. You heard right. It could affect whether you get insurance or how much you pay. So do all the apps do that? Well, Consumer Reports says the most likely apps to do that are the free ones. They're probably selling your personal data. After all, they have to make money one way or the other. And if you're thinking these are medical apps, they shouldn't share my personal information. By law, doctors and hospitals have to protect your information and keep it private. But the same rules don't necessarily apply to health apps. Okay, so again, what do you need to be looking for? You need to check the terms of service of the app and whether the app is asking for permission to access your contacts or your photos or allows it to share your data with third parties.